what's going on everybody it's your boy mr check the temperature man make sure that you like comment subscribe to the channel and it has finally gone down bullpen versus the trenches the last grudge match in 2023 man john john the don versus easy the block captain now before we get into the main event yeah i'm gonna give you quick recaps um of all the battles i did watch all of the battles and i will say this this car respectfully this car needed that mike p versus loso to go down um not having that it was damn near a co-main event i ain't gonna lie to you it was one of the ones i was looking forward to um going into the car earlier in the week when i did my predictions that was my uh battle of the night now i will say this i think there was another battle of the night that people are not really talking about outside of the john john and easy battle but we'll get to that but i definitely felt like this was a card that was missing just a little bit of you know just a little bit of substance just a little bit of substance we got, you know what I'm saying, got the opportunity to see some of the young up-and-coming talent from both the trenches and bullpen. But when it came to the core battles, man, oh, I think Mike P and Loso definitely would have put this event over the top. But a good event, um, one in the same. So shout out John John. Shout out Easy the Black Captain. Uh, let's get right into it, man. Let's get quick with the recaps of what I saw. Shout out, first of all, shout out my brothers, you know what I'm saying, Showtime SP and Vital Fly again with the commentary. The commentary bulls, the commentary bulls, it seems to be you don't get to have a major card without them two um, doing the commentary. So that's definitely something that I'm looking to get into, me and Deadass, uh, definitely looking to do um, in 2024. So we'll see how it go. But um, first battle, OG Capri versus Taj Millie. I got Taj Millie clear in this battle. Um, I had him up 2-0 pretty clear. You know, I'll say this, Philly. Philly, I know y'all pride yourselves on being fair when it comes to the raps, being fair when it comes to these bars. But I'm going to let you know, Philly, you walking a fine line. You teetering a fine line um, in this event, man, because it was some fire lines said from people outside of you know what I'm saying? Um, the trenches. And I didn't feel like a lot of battlers, you know what I'm saying, consistently got the respect they deserve on that stage when it came to the bars. But, you know what I'm saying, we also know Philly is a rough crowd. Um, but I definitely had ties winning that one. Um, seeing GTY versus Lee and D. Um, this was a body. I got CNG with the 30. Uh, so automatically. Automatically, we got bullpen up 2-0 real quick. Bullpen up 2-0 clear in the first two battles. Now, the battle that people need to be talking about, and I don't know if people weren't in tune. I don't know if they was watching, but they should have been watching. It was a battle that was talked about that was going to be one of them ones and honestly lived up to the hype. I don't know what this car would look like if this battle wasn't as good as it was. So I want to say shout out uh jay moore versus bonus that was a fire battle i know everybody talking about easy and john john the battle of the night but if somebody said jay moore versus bonus i would absolutely understand because that battle was fire jay moore first round crazy probably the best round of the night um for him um and then i bonus was just fighting back man bonus pin and how he can just delivery it it was it was a fire battle man um i did edge this battle to jay more respectfully uh, i think i got it first and third but it was a fire battle a fire battle might even deserve a bar recap it was that crazy so salute to them um zam versus cash flow rizzy i had cash flow uh i know this was a battle that had happened years prior um, but some things never change. I got cash flow winning this one. Although I will say this, Zan's second round was crazy. She did go crazy in her second round. Um, but salute to both of them. Definitely cash flow really had a, a great year. I want to see more cash flow. I seen she trying to get on Queen of the Ring. She trying to holler at Debo, talking about she wants TAS. I'm not mad at that. 
Come on, y'all know I keep a medicine ball. Make sure y'all thumb up the video. Make sure y'all thumb up the video. Okay, body of the night, man. Told y'all this was going to happen. Body of the night goes to my dog, Riggs. Riggs doing his thing in 2023. I cannot wait to see where y'all have him on this champion of the year list because I think what he did at Maxed Out, what he did at Trenches, um, undefeated in both, undefeated in both. And Kaboom, I heard, you know what I'm saying? You a Philly legend and all of that, but it wasn't it. That was trash, trash, all three rounds. If somebody says they tried to give Kaboom a round, they probably squint in their eyes at the third round, but they lying. It was a 30 for Riggs. I got a 30 for Riggs, man. I thought it was clear. It's just levels to their writing, man. It's levels to their writing. And again, not getting a lot of crowd reaction, even though I felt like he deserved some, but I had Riggs taking that battle. Enes versus Clone. That was a battle that you, going into it, you knew it was going to be a good battle, and you definitely felt like it lived up um, to the expectations. Respectfully, I had Clone winning this battle second and third. Uh, I thought Clone's uh, second round was fire. It was crazy. Uh, but I did edge Clone second and third in that battle. But good on the rewatch. You know, easy with the Philly. I mean, Enes with the Philly flow is timeless. And, you know, a lot, of the, a lot of the Philly supporters can get, like, almost hypnotized, get put in a trance just based off the way that he rapping and his delivery. So shout out to him. But um, I definitely had e, I definitely had Clone winning this. So what is it? At that point in time, it is three to two. Three to two. Um, the trenches is actually up. But then you have Bill Collector versus Bad News. Shout out my dog, Bad News, because he's had a great year. But when I tell you Bill Collector did exactly what I thought he was going to do in that battle, he did, bro. He just showed levels. Like, Bill Collector can do it all, man. And I hear I hear the list that he's talking about after the battle. He said he won the battle uh, Geechee Gotti. After that, he, he who else did he talk about? He talked about battling easy to block Captain Possibly. It's a lot of plates for Bill out here to eat in 2024. And we got to see more Bill Collector. I ain't going to lie to you. That was 100K Bill. That was double bar Bill. You know what I'm saying? You can't kill Bill. It would ever... Uh, Bill Collector, your favorite, favorite African Americano, Americano. You know how you do. You know how you do what he do when he says his name. But at the end of the day, that boy Bill was wilding. Now I will say this: after the battle, there was a little bit of drama. There was a, um, I would say a tasteless post floating around um, the internet in regards to the battle where they had an a, a obituary of bad news floating around. That was just tasteless to me. That was classless. Um, if you know anything about bad news, he's really been in a life or death situation. Um, and you don't know what type of PTSD um, a situation like that can bring back. I mean, he got kids, he got daughters and things of that nature, man. And at the end of the day, this is battle rap, man. We got to be more aware. I, again, I understand there might not be any um, any written raw laws in battle rap, but it needs to be some unwritten rules to battle rap. It might not be no laws, but it needs to be unwritten rules. And playing with the dead as often as I see it play with, it's just it to me, it's just it's just tasteless, it's classless. Um, shout out Bill Collector, shout out uh bad news because I did think it was a good battle, but I definitely had Bill Collector uh first and third clear. If you wanted to try to give bad news around, probably be the second, but for me, it was a gentleman's. It was a gentleman's.